into day six of Vlogmas. I always forget which days we're up to because we were in front by a couple of days, but now we're like on time. So I'm pretty sure today is day six of Vlogmas. Today I have decided that we're going to be spending most of our day outside. I just think that since we came back from camping, we've been spending way too much time inside. Today is a glorious day and I think we just need to spend a good amount of it outside and enjoying this amazing weather we have got today. I gave him his little tub. I filled it up with water so he can entertain himself with some water play. As you can see, He's not really being entertained by it. He's just wearing his nappy because he's going to get wet and I don't really want to like get clothes out that he's just going to wet. So I'm just gonna let him just chill in a nappy like all day today. I've also got this book here that I want to finish reading. I got this, I can't even remember. I think it was Mother's Day and I haven't finished reading it. I haven't got that far into it. So I need to start reading it. So I thought today would be the best day to start reading it again. So Jason has had this house for about nine years now and there's this tree in the backyard that we've never discovered what it is. We've just thought it was just like a weird tree and it flowers so nice in spring and when it comes to summer it has these like nuts all over it and it just like loses all these nuts and we've never had anything else but these nuts on this tree so we've never discovered what it was the other day me and jason thought it was a lychee tree um because we saw them in the supermarket and we we're like oh these are like the ones that we've got on that tree out the back i've just had a look at it again and no joke guys this is the first year it's ever had fruit on it We've got a plum tree in our backyard. A plum tree. I've just picked this off the tree and this is clearly a plum. Is this not a plum? Please let me know if this is not a plum. But I have a feeling this is a plum because I'm not a plum person, but I think this is a plum. Unfortunately, the worms have got to it first, but I'm pretty sure this is a plum. There are plums on this tree or fruit, I should say. I can't believe it, there's so many. Unfortunately, a lot of them have been eaten by animals, like snails and worms and stuff, or caterpillars. But we've actually got fruit on our tree. This honestly made me so happy because the last like four years that I've been living in this house, I've, n I've never known what this tree was. And I'm so happy I finally discovered it's a plum tree. This one. Pick up the container. So we've got six wonderful plums. I actually think that I will have to throw this big guy out because he's got a few holes in him. So I might have to throw him out right now. But the other ones are all good. I'm so happy I found out we've got a plum tree. I think the reason why I'm really, really, really happy about it is because one, obviously, like I've said before, we've discovered what tree it is after, you know, many years of not knowing what it is. And two, it's made me more happy knowing that I can plant other fruit and that will do well because of this tree is doing so well. And it makes me happy because I want to have like a whole backyard full of like fruit trees. But we're inside and it is time for lunch. I needed to figure out what we're cooking for lunch. I think I'm going to just make a big batch of um like roasted vegetables i know it's something that frederick really loves is his roasted vegetables and i know he's going to eat them so i think i'm just going to make a huge batch of roasted vegetables so i can also have them for tea tonight how relaxed are you there frederick so relaxed <laughs> he's so relaxed right now just chilling in the kitchen where i have to be Move frederick to the bedroom so he can have his quiet time for the day i think he'll fall asleep so he might have lunch after his nap, but that's not a bad thing because it's only 11.30. So by the time he wakes up, it will probably be like one o'clock. So it's not a bad thing if he has a little nap. Um, put my plums, <laughs> my plums. And also the good thing is I've done all the editing and almost uploaded today's video. So I'm all good for that. And if Frederick falls asleep, I will get to have some mummy time. So I get to be able to sit down and watch some YouTubers that I need to catch up with all their like vlogmas stuff. <laughs> actually 
wrapping presents for a box swap that I'm doing with another YouTuber. Um, so I need to wrap these presents because I'm sending them out tomorrow. So I need to wrap them up now. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this video. Presents are all wrapped, ready to go to my box swap lady. I just need to send them tomorrow, so they are good to go. I'm really hoping that the box swap video is up before Christmas because, well, it is a Christmas related video, but I don't know what Australia Post is gonna do, be like, like sending this parcel. It might take like a couple of days to get where it needs to be. It might take a week. But because of the Christmas rush, it might take like a week and a half or two weeks. And we don't got time for that. We do not have time for that Australia Post. So the parcel better get there within a couple of days. I'm going to end the vlog here because I just wanna chill. Eh, I don't wanna vlog anymore. And I know that I still need to edit everything and uh, so much, so much work to do. But I'm going to get going, so I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in seeing more from us. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you guys.